Hello there and welcome back to uh, Xenotic and to a new cup from Spike. I think it's just called Xenotic Dual Cup but I'm probably wrong. Should have probably checked that. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be demo casting. This is the group stage. We have Spike versus Seeky on Zoilent. And yeah, so we've got a group stage, then we're moving on to a bracket format. And so we're going to hopefully see quite a lot of games. I've asked people to send over their games if they can. And oh, a beautiful air shot there from Spike to be able to pick Seeky up like that. I really like how Zoilent's designed, actually. It's a very strange map that you wouldn't think would work with being able to fall off the edge and all that. And a lot of people would would kind of position it as a bit of a meme map. But it's def it definitely can be played well. And both of these two players have been playing for such a long time that they've been forced to play Zoilent against memers and make it proper. Um, and I think at one point it probably was a very popular actual duel map. Uh, because a lot of people know how to play it far too well for it to just have always been a bit of a meme map. Beautiful shot there from Spike. Spike currently 2-0 up. Trying to carry speed. You can see how he floats around it. You can get to most places on this map above or below meaning if your opponent starts moving you then just move on the above route or the below route and you can catch them or you can try and run away by pretending to go that way and then because they can't see you uh go the other way spike there getting a double kill managing to uh trade up landing some nice shots around these corners as well and just kind of keeping Seeky very much pinned, using those stairs to just go whoop. That was a nice shot. Very well predicted for Spike having his crosshair in the right place. That's going to be an out of bounds. And Seeky goes down to the void. Fight at the minute going a little bit one way, but... We'll see if Seeky can manage to pull it back. He's managed to get Spike a little bit low. And there's always a chance of just being hit by a rocket in the face. Especially on this map with so many corners and places you can poke out of and different ways to go. If you've got below 80 health, there is a hell of a chance that someone comes around the corner and just somehow hits you in the face with a rocket. Just like Spike did to Seeky. But um, we're hoping for it the other way. For Seeky to get a little bit more back into this game. He hasn't completely lost it, he's still uh, got the timing roughly around places. Getting into all these little bits. And... Getting good shots off and I think... Oh! Spike just managing to stay on the platform there. Flicking around the back but Seeky was able to finish it off and now Spike has to try and pick up some more health. But gets the Mega which is going to help him a lot. Almost fell off the edge again there. Map, you have to have uh, quite good knowledge of where the actual edge of the map is. Because some of those barriers around the edge, some of those big pillars and stuff like that, have a little lip. Some of them don't. And sometimes you'll go off and think you have the lip, and you don't have the lip. <laughs> and sometimes you think you've got the lip, but you... Uh, and you caught it, but actually you just slip off. It does require some map knowledge, and it also requires quite good movement. A little bit laggy from Seeky there, but not too much of a problem. It wasn't in particular a bit of a fight, so... This also could have been Spike lag, actually, because we have got the um, client side demo from Spike, so everything's going to be smooth on Spike's side. So if he's lagging and that makes Seeky move jittery, then uh, well, that's his problem, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to seem smooth to us because we've got his client side. Spike just being pressured into not being able to hit shots there. Seeky was able to pick up that item and just sort of run it around a little bit. 
Um, just simple jumping left, right. Not too much in the way of tricky movement, but pressuring Spike into uh, a bad position, I guess. So he was. It was a difficult angle to aim on the stairs sometimes. Like still connecting the shots, getting out of most of these fights with very little health though. That's the thing you can you can notice every time he's coming out with one, maybe two more shots, and see if you've got him. But he's coming out with that every time, then picking up the next bit of health. And if you know you can go down to one health after every fight, but if you never go down to zero, you don't die, and that's fine. And that's. Basically how Spike's playing this one at the minute. I would like to see some more of how Seeky was playing on the stairs there. Uh, it re it'll require a little bit more life from Seeky. They need to both get to those stairs and have reasonable health, armor, and weapons. But I, I liked that. And I want to I wanna look at that a little bit more if I can. If it comes up. That was good. Very good positioning, getting into into the right place. Even there, Spike just missing a few shots that he wouldn't you wouldn't normally think he might get it here. Unlikely. Spike probably won't feel too pressured by this. Now, see, he's managed to somehow get back on the side, and has he managed to knock Spike off? He has. Spike is not able to rock it back up. Very close to being able to rock it back up though, but look at those stats. 18 mega healths. There are two mega healths on this map. Uh, both of those are 100 health. Oh, sorry, armors. Uh, 19 mega armors, 9 mega healths. Which seems about right, really, because it should be half because there's two mega armors. Now, the ultimate bad, mo uh, bad manners move on this map is there's a secret where you can get the tuba. And if you can get the tuba in a duel, <laughs> uh, yeah, It'd be a bit rude to get the tuba in a duel, I think. Beautiful rocketry there, though. That, that last rocket, shooting it and then running, and curving it while, you're, while you can't see your opponent, it connected wholeheartedly for full 80 damage. Ooh, Seeky's so close to getting that mega health there. If he'd have got that, probably would have survived that and been able to do a little bit more. It's almost certainly gone out the window for a win here, but Spike's played this map very, very well, picking up the items, just moving around in a beautiful manner. I think Seeky's played it pretty well as well. We've seen some interesting ways of playing this map that could certainly work, I think, uh, to help. And if Spike picks those up, it'll be even more dominable on this map. Oh, it's the... Oh, no, he's fallen in the void. Never mind. I thought that was an absolutely stunning Crylink shot right there. Do love a good Crylink shot, me. Very unique weapon. I like the Crylink a lot. It's an incredibly unique weapon to the, uh, to the game. Ooh, there you could see. So Seeky was in a in a higher position, and managed to kind of bully Spike into being unable to make his shots. Then you see where they're on flat ground, and Spike's just he might only have one weapon, but one weapon's all you need when you can hit every single shot four in a row. Versus now, Seeky pushing forwards, pressuring, getting a little bit of height difference in there. And then all of a sudden, Spike can't quite hit every shot. And this is what I was saying earlier about Seeky using the stairs. Spike was just unable, while being under pressure, to hit those shots. But there we are. Spike playing his own positional game. He's putting himself in a position and waiting for Seeky to come to him. In a position that he's comfortable in. You can just see instantly how... Uh, how much more confident it makes him and how much better able to make all the shots he is. He's got these items on bloody lock, hasn't he? Look at that, running straight through that item. Through that health. 
We are coming to the end of the game now, though. Five seconds left. Will he be able to make the 30? It's going to be tight. We know, but Seeky is able to get the kill right at the end. So that's GG. 29 to 7. Uh, Seeky versus Spike on Zoilent. Next up, we're heading over to Fuse with the same players. And that video will be out tomorrow if you're watching this on the day it's released, or it'll be up. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.